Hey guys, Sosimus here, and I have a quick video. I don't know how quick it's going to be, but anyways, big news. MapleStory has decided to bring back Double Miracle Time, aka DMT. Quick history lesson. Last year, we had a DMT during the first session, which is at 3 a.m. EST. They had super laggy Double Miracle Time. It didn't work. People's cubes wouldn't go through, wouldn't, wouldn't trigger, and so they canceled the rest of DMT. Two weeks later, they had a second round of DMT saying, well, increase our server stability and try to get it to work properly and uh it it, it didn't work and uh <laughs> it was still laggy as it was so laggy it was crappy people couldn't do people people were raising their pitchforks and trying to well i don't know if they actually drove to the nexon headquarters and then a we're we're pretty tame compared to like kms this year they bring it they're bringing it back and they have some changes okay first of all let's talk about what is dmt DMT is double miracle time, and there are a few things that happen. One, you have a higher chance of tearing up your items. Items have potentials. If you didn't already know this, uh, I'm going to give you a quick spiel. Items have potential. You get potentials on your items with potential scrolls, and you can increase the number of potential lines from two to three if you have like a potential stamp. Um, but with potential, there are four different grades. There, there is rare, you, epic, <laughs> unique, and legendary. And so... During double miracle time, you have a higher chance of tearing these, uh, tearing your items up to a higher potential. And the way you tear these items up are with cubes. Um, cubes you can get red or black cubes. So double miracle time, you have a higher chance of tearing up your items. You also have a chance to tear up from rare to unique, aka skip epic. You can skip a tier, so you can go from rare to unique or epic to legendary. So that's that's a chance, and they call that the double miracle time. La. Yeah. Usually double double miracle time also is accompanied by a cube sale. They're not doing that this time around. So that's kind of sad, but eh, whatever. You guys get your double miracle time. Cool. Now that I've described what double miracle time is, we can go on to the announcement to see what the difference is and uh what they're changing about it. Cool. Double miracle time. This is like a day ago, so I'm kinda late. Uh, it's been a while since the last memo. I hope you're having a good summertime. Today, I would like to talk about our upcoming Double Miracle Time. They, like, literally don't explain what Double Miracle Time is in this thing. Like, they just assume that all the players know about this, which I guess is a fair assumption. Anyways, so how this is going to work, on the 22nd of July, there will be a quest or a registration. There will be a quest in the game where you can register to participate in a double miracle time date. I say date because there are a set amount of dates from the July from July 28th to the 3rd for you to mark your miracle time. MYMT baby. My MT. Whew. Uh so there it's like 7 days I think, a set 7 different days that you can part participate in every single day. Every world will get 4000 players. Um they, there, there, there will be 4,000 players that can participate every single day per world. So in Reboot, which is the most heavily populated server, there will be 28, well, 4,000 players will be participating every single day. So uh, seven days, that's like 28,000 players. That's what they say here. Boop. Uh, in total, I think that's enough for all the players that care about Double Miracle Time. So, so yeah, so the way it works is on the day that you you marked your miracle time that day you'll be able to uh participate in the extra tier up rates and the the skipping tiers and double miracle time kind of madness so hopefully if only four thousand players are doing this the server should hold up i'm crossing my fingers hopefully it works cool uh now that we've kind of gone through like what the nitty-gritty is uh we can go back to the plan let me show you ah so we already talked about what is dmt we talked about how it's going to work uh, let's talk about the prep. So I have a list of items that you should get, and I'll probably link it down in the description below somewhere. First thing, yeah, like, do you guys like my... Uh, comment down below if you like my uh, weird notepad PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> First thing, get your emblem. This should be like basically free uh, for most classes except for explorer classes. Boohoo. Like we have to go do like some long quest line to try to get the emblem. But either way, get your level 100 emblem. It should be relatively free. Uh, it's like super easy to get. Next thing, get your secondary. You can either buy this from the shop in Leaf Free. I think there's a secondary, uh, there's a person that sells secondaries, like a merchant on the right side of the of Leaf Free. And like, I feel like most classes get this for free as well. 
at least the newer classes get secondaries for free. You can also get your frozen secondary if you're burning, terror burning your character. And generally frozen secondaries are better than the ones that you get at level 100 or the ones that you buy from the merchant. So there's that. So two of those things should be relatively free. The third one, this one you have to do a little bit of work. Uh, the CRA armor or K Chaos Root Abyss armor. Uh, the way you get these is you need five tokens of the Chaos Root Abyss bosses. So there are a few. There's Chaos Queen, there's Chaos Von Bon, and, or Chaos Chicken, and uh, Chaos Clown. Crap. What is the clown name? I actually don't remember what the name of the clown is. But Chaos Queen, Chaos Chicken, Chaos Clown. And then there's Chaos Vellum, and he gives you the weapon, but... I wouldn't worry too much about the weapon because most people just skip the weapon anyways. So let's do those three items uh, would require some work. Uh, the first part of the work is you have to do your dailies. Uh, you have to kill the normal root abyss bosses 10 times and you can only kill them once a day. So you need to do it for 10 days in a row. Now, DMT is happening. They've given us a lot of notice, like times notice, because like usually DMT they will announce it on the Monday or like a Tuesday and it'll happen on a Friday or they'll announce it on a Wednesday and it'll get, we'll get it on the Friday. So usually you don't have like 10 days to do your NRA. So if you're not ready for it, you're just not ready. But now they're giving us more than 10 days. Like if you chose the last day of DMT, which you should to give you more time to, to prep, uh, you have like what, a week, two weeks plus two days. So you have like 15 days. Uh, 13 to 15 days depending on when you watch this video you have like 10 to 15 days to prep which is a lot of time so spend at least 10 of those days doing your normal rutabus uh at least the first three doors so the first three doors are queen bonbon bon, and clown cool uh and that's the first part the second part is you actually have to kill chaos rutabus bosses okay this is this part is where i encourage a behavior or uh I encourage something that I don't necessarily like to encourage, which is to get carried. Uh, but yeah, I don't think if you guys are doing the 10 days of normal Rutabus that you'll be able to clear the bosses on your own. So you'll probably need to get carried. Where are you going to get carries? You could either join guilds that do carries. Uh, ask around. Uh, I mean, people will probably find you annoying, but who knows? Maybe some good Samaritan might come by and help you. Or you could... Uh, what else? It's like, it's either guilds, discords, friends, strangers, or you could, if, if you absolutely cannot find anybody to carry you, you can drop by my stream the week of DMT. So the 28th, I think is when it starts. So the 28th, the 30th, and the 31st. I think those are the three days I will commit to doing some form of Chaos Rudebit carries. Just ask me, say you're coming from my video and you, you like to you like to get a carry. I will commit to doing some carries. I, I won't necessarily say everybody that asks gets a carry. Maybe I'll do I'll commit to like three characters to carry. I really don't like carrying people, but I I I, I am such a nice guy. I'm such a nice guy. Just kidding. Anyways, uh so CRA is probably the most annoying one. And the last bit is accessories. You wanna get five accessories, uh if possible. Uh, where you can get these accessories, uh, you can look at this list, which I will post down below. You have alien accessories. I don't personally like this um, because they're higher level and it costs more to to, tier, to, to reveal potentials. Uh, event ring that is currently in the event shop right now. If you haven't been doing the event, you're probably not going to be able to get this ring. It's 3.5k event coins for this one ring. Uh, Silver Blossom Ring from Chaos Mortale is a good one. Mechanator Pendant, Dominator Pendant, or Chaos Mortale Pendant. Any one of those are fine. Also, Super... Well, Dominator Pendant, maybe not so easy to get, but Mechanator and Horntail Pendant, relatively easy to get. Uh, the Galax Accessories, anything from Reinforce Plus. Generally, this is if you're getting carried, so probably not if you're brand new. Zakum Face, Zakum Eyes, and Deacetus earrings. I don't know how you're supposed to say this, but a horn tail earrings. So the, the, the last three that I talked about, relatively easy to get. Silver Blossom Ring, relatively easy to get. And you can use Chaos Horn Tail Pendant. So those five, super easy to get. Uh, you don't even need to get carried to get those things. You just got to be somewhat lucky or ask somebody with drop gear to, to carry you. Don't ask me. <laughs> uh, so cool. Five accessories and CRA armor emblem secondary. 
uh, if you can get like you know, th there those are ten items. If you can get eight of uh, eight out of the ten, you're like you have a lot of stuff to work with, and you may not even have enough money to tear all of them up. Anyways, so I don't know. Just say prep ten items just in case you have enough money and you get super lucky and you can tear all of them up to legendary. So cool. That's about ten items, and you, if you've already read ahead, uh, I estimate. It's like kind of like 500-ish mil per item to tier up to legendary from rare. I personally like to use black cubes, by the way. If you want to use red cubes, go ahead, pick your poison. I think it's roughly the same. Um, yeah, roughly about 500 mil per item worth of black cubes. If you're relatively lucky or like about average luck, if you're unlucky, this is not going to work. You're probably going to spend like a bill, two bill per item to legendary. But yeah, so with that estimate, 10 items, 500 mil, you need roughly about 5 bill. Uh, this is probably the last part of the video talking about how do you get this 5 bill. Let me like kind of get rid of this. Uh, getting 5 bill, not super easy. If you are brand new, brand new to the game, this probably will be very difficult. Um, you can at the very least get 1 bill from doing 10 days worth of Ursus. Uh, you can get like 90 to 100 mil depending on what level you are. but as long as you participate in Ursus every day during the two times meso slots, which is around 9 o'clock EST to 1 a.m. EST, it's like a wide window. Just go in there, look for a quick party, a quick join, a group of 18, and just like hit a little bit, help rescue some people, and you get like 100 mil. It's like really uh, 30 mil each run. You get three runs, and so that's about 100 mil. So that's like a really easy way of getting quick mesos. You can also farm 40 hours uh, at 100 mil an hour rate, which I don't know if that's like, I actually have no clue how much people make in like the early, early game. Um, but if you can do that, 40 hours is quite a bit. It's like four hours a day in 10 days. Maybe you can do it, maybe you can't. And maybe you have some extra message just sitting around, I don't know, from like doing bosses or whatnot. Uh, but cool, let's assume you can do 100 mil an hour or 200 mil an hour, which will be 20 hours, which is like a wealth pot a day, which is not too bad. Um, if you don't know what wealth acquisition potions are, you should look them up. I can't really describe them or talk about them in this video. It's like too long already. Cool. So you can, this, these are like some ideas to get your five bill. Uh, Maple Tour is another good idea, but I have no clue how much you're going to make on Maple Tour, depending on like what level you're doing and how many runs you're doing a day. But those are some of the, the, the options. Cool. Last thing, the strategy, the day of. What is your DMT plan? Okay, if you only have one bill, work on your emblem and secondary to unique. Specifically, get them to unique. Why? Because it's relatively easy to get to unique, especially if you hit a double miracle time on your rare, from rare to unique. Then you can just keep, keep it at that, get your secondary to unique, and uh, it's easy for you to like gather master craftsman cubes nowadays. You can just like roll them to try to get like 9% attack or, you know, maybe if you can get two line attack, like 6%, 6% or 9%, 6%. That's like amazing, right? So you just want to get some percent attack on your emblem and your secondary to like kind of increase your damage pretty significantly. What about after that? So after one bill, so two bill to five bill, uh, I would suggest getting your accessories to legendary and then whatever you have left over cra to legendary uh or actually no uh cra to legendary would be last and then we'll do emblem and secondary to legendary so uh emblem and secondary to unique first uh just to get like some a solid amount of attack percent attack and then you get your accessories to legendary with the eventual goal of post dmt buying red cubes to get 20 percent mesos or 20 percent item drop rate so i'm going to write this down so you guys can see mesos slash drop right and then uh once you get those to legendary you don't have to get these this is like an eventual goal right you use red cubes to get that after dmt just get your accessories to legendary, then get your emblem and uh, secondary to legendary if you have enough money. And then if you have more money, get your CRA to legendary. Now, some of you may be lacking in potential scrolls. Here's a strategy to get some potential on some of the things that you just got. So for example, if you get CRA 
you can use what's called transfer hammer to get free potential scrolls. So if you farm, a uh, CRA is level 150. And if you don't know what transfer hammer is, I'm going to give you a quick rundown. Basically, if you have stars on one item uh, at level 10, or let's say at level X, you can transfer those stars and the potential on that item to another item that is level X plus 10, or within 10 levels of the first item. So let's say Pencilier is level 140. You can transfer potentials. Uh, uh, you can transfer a potential from your Pencilier to uh, so your CRA up to Epic. You can't transfer anything above Epic. It will go back down to Epic to your CRA. This works specifically with the Pencilier overall. You can get that to, uh, let's say, you can get a rare Pencilier somewhere. You can just like pick it up, like farm a bunch, pick it up, and give it one star transfer hammer over to a CRA top or a CRA bottom and you will get potential on the CRA item. So that's like a free way of getting a potential item, uh, a potential scroll. It's like a pseudo potential scroll. It's not real. Anyways, I've talked a lot already. Uh, if you have any questions, I know I sped through a bunch of information. I kind of threw a lot of information at you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below or drop by my stream. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on twitch.tv slash sauce MS. Uh, and I'll try to answer you just, you know, and if I don't answer you, just ask it again, <laughs> or you can join my discord also linked down below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I hope you have a good DMT.